Okay, the distributive property, or sometimes um, we may refer to it as the distributive property of multiplication over addition. Basically, um, it allows us to write a product as a sum or a sum as a product. Now, what I mean by this in distributive property, let's take an example, um, maybe three times, we'll make this something simple, two plus two. Okay. What the distributive property states is, in this case, we're going to multiply 3 times 2 there and 3 times 2 there, and then we could get results. If, if we do the order of operations here, for example, um, looking at this, and, and we can say, okay, this is 3. If we do 2 plus 2, that's 4. 3 times 4, we know that's 12. Well, the distributive property says is we can multiply what's outside of these parentheses when it is multiplied by everything inside of them by everything first. Now, this means we would have 3 times 2 plus 3 times 2 because we're multiplying 3 times 2 here and 3 times 2 here. What this means is we're getting 6 plus 6, which is equal to 12. So the distributive property, what we're doing is essentially we're distributing this 3 throughout everything in the parentheses um, through multiplication. And the reason this is important is we'll see later on we're going to have instances where we may have 3 times x plus 4. And we can't add x plus 4 when we don't know what x plus 4 is. So the distributive property allows us to say, okay, we're going to take 3 and multiply it by x. We're going to take 3 and multiply it by 4. If later on down the road we find out what x is, then we can add those sums together. Or we can substitute in here. But anyways, if we distribute out through this, we get see we get 3x plus 12. So this is the distributive property, or some people call it distributor property of multiplication over addition. Again, this is a very, very important concept in algebra and something that you need to make sure that is understood completely. Um, again, it's basically just taking what's outside of parentheses. We'll do 4 times 3x minus 1 plus 3. I'll do one more here. 4 times 3x that we distribute here. 4 times 3 is 12x. 4 times negative 1, negative 4. And 4 times positive 3 is positive 12. And then we can simplify this by saying, okay, 12x negative 4 plus 12 is positive 8. 12x plus 8. And we could add these numbers uh, in the parentheses as well, beginning. We could have 4 times 3x. Negative 1 plus 3 is plus 2. And again, this will give us the same thing as we have down here, 12x plus 8. So distributive property, um, make sure you understand what this is because this is a very important thing to know how to do in algebra. So see you in the next video. Bye.